Sunday, family day, cooking day, yeah. So today I'm making biryani, or biryani, however you say it. Um, obviously with supervision on the wife. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's a beautiful day today in Cape Town. Um, check this out. Guys, so we're gonna start making the biryani with supervision, of course. <laughs> yes. Um, so this is a couple of ingredients we're gonna show you. Um, we've already done, obviously, the uh, potatoes is what you need to fry. First. I'm just gonna give you a pro tip. Um, I always put an onion in oil. It flavors the roast potatoes. It will change your life. Okay, so you need. Boiled eggs, we're making chicken biryani today. Yeah, and another thing, Mr. Eddie doesn't like bones, so we have boneless chicken. Of course, yes, don't like digging on the food. Uh, obviously, you need rice. Two cups of rice. Two cups of rice. One cup of lentils. One cup of lentils, and then let's just go through the spices quickly. Okay, so you've got your curry, two teaspoons, one teaspoon of biryani masala, one teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of allspice, so it has everything cardamom, everything in there. Salt, curry leaves, and two cardamom pods. So we've got the same for the rice because I flavor the rice when we boil the biryani. So it's the same spices, two chopped onions, a chili. That's it. All right, let's start. All right, so first things first, gonna put our rice in the boiling water. And we're going to add the lentils as well. And then this should boil for how long? Um, it's not supposed to cook right through. So I would say probably 10 15 minutes so that it's not completely cooked because you're going to steam your biryani. So it will cook the rice and the lentils finish. And don't forget to add your spices, which is like a quarter teaspoon of everything that we've added, but a teaspoon of salt. And when do you add the spices now? Or? Yeah, now. All right, so let's add the spices. So we're using the small bowl. Yes. Put it all in. Cool. Oh. We let that simmer. We're gonna let that simmer. All right, so now we're just gonna make a little kind of chicken curry. Uh, everything going in that pot. Yeah. I'll make a hyperlapse. Don't worry. let your chicken curry cook. Uh, chicken doesn't take that long. Normally when I make chicken curry I, I would put potatoes first and then chicken at the end because it, it goes so quick. I have to steal one of these. Don't tell anybody. Also someone sleeping. The rice and lentils look like this. You can strain it. You can start straining. Right, so the rice is done. The chicken's done. Eggs are cut in quarters, so now we're gonna start layering in the pot. Alright, so now we have to add some butter. Well, I would put the cup of water in first because you're going to steam everything. So just throw your cup of water over the top. The 
and then you put knobs of butter on the top. Some people can put um, sour milk if you like that in your biryani. Okay. And you just press down to the place pressure. Right. Take your lid, cover it, and I will put it on a very low heat. So we put on five for about 20 minutes and then you'll be on your ready. All right. So that is up, that's done. So we're just gonna let it rest a bit and then show you the end product. All right, so now that it's out and rested, Time to mix. Oh, it smells divine. Start mixing. Nice. Mmm. I wish you could smell this. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Have a look, see all oh, the flavors. Mm, gorgeous, and that's how it looks in product. First time making biryani. Yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that quick lesson of how to make biryani, well, the way we make biryani, biryani, how you want to say. Um, Give us a like and a subscribe and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye!